clothes from a trip to Morocco. Authentic and not from the Chinese bazaar, except for the plastic sword I branded. It was a bit audacious perhaps, as once part of Morocco was in Spanish control and is still under conflict. Politics aside, I wasn't here to make a statement. I just thought it was a good get-up, plus it was warm. I was literally a solitary nomad drifting along the bazaar and beautiful. This was the most popular night of Carnival, because the day after was a holiday. A Monday night. Tomorrow would be a day of rest, thank goodness. my friend Oleg to get dressed up and join the fun. He was reticent at first, but as a seasoned sailor, he knows he has to go with the elements. Tonight is Wednesday, the night they burn a sardine. I was told to dress in morning widow black. The sardine is called a chicharro. It was one of the main catches of the fishermen of the old port of Santa Cruz and since the people of the city are called chichareros. And the chicharera widows mourn the end of the sardine. cooked a scale ocean critter in celebration. And the party continued. It was time to dance. Someone grabbed hold of me, and it was none other than Domitil. She was with her new boat captain, who will take her to Senegal. His name is Pascal. He attempted to go out without a costume, and I couldn't let that happen, so I dulled him up. Tonight I wore my tutu and fish scale leggings again. It's comfortable and surprisingly keeps your legs warm. Now I understand why chicks like leggings. And my upper half was some kind of bearded she pirate. It was Friday night, next to last night to go. A 
again, Dummy Teal would be my party partner. It would be her last night to go crazy. Sunday, she would be off to Senegal. The most astonishing thing about this carnival is the good nature of the people. No drunken fights, no vandalism, no armed cops. And to think during the Franco era, the authorities would hunt down celebrations termed illegal. Now they joke about it. The police did patrol the fiesta, but sometimes it was hard to tell who was the real law. Again, around 5 in the morning, I escorted my buddy Domitil back to the marina. She was staying aboard Pascal's boat, and in a couple of days, they'd be off. I love this song. I love this song. I like this music. I love this song. Tonight, my Swiss friends Daniel and Nicole would be joining me. Jose, my neighbor, was out for a last one too. Last night to go wild, and I'm going on the wild side. People in Eleanor came along too. Since it was the weekend, the party had been going on all day. The streets were littered with cocktail leftovers. If there were any casualties, we never saw any. as a liaison for my camera. She was very effective. One of the few downsides of the event, guys and girls did their business in the streets. Okay, this is insane. This is what I have to go through to get back to the boat. I'll just tell you, this is insane. I lost my friends and found my way home. So I don't know if you get the idea what it's like to go through all this, to be able to get back to one's boat. It's carnage in a way. And the authorities here, whatever they do, they do it really well to clean all this shit up. Hooray for the cleanup crews. Next day looks like nothing ever happened. Dummy Teal has been waiting to ride somewhere and she's finally got one. She's leaving today to go to Africa. <laughs> Getting ready to go to Senegal. <laughs> Dummy Teal got a ride. She hitched a ride, now she has to fill in the logbook. <laughs> Carnival is finally over. Pascal and crew left hastily to beat a mean weather front coming. And very soon, I'll be going too. That is, if all goes according to plan. 